Hello everyone, it's Mas here back again with a memory plan with me this time for the week commencing the 13th of December. I love Christmas spreads, they're probably my favourite of the whole year. I'm probably not alone there, I'm sure there's lots of people that love them too. I have skipped a couple of weeks and you've seen me take the paper out of my planner or the inserts rather to do these spreads. I just got caught up, um, it's a bit crazy with uh, healthcare at the moment under the current circumstances and I thought rather than put the pressure on I would just uh, accept a little bit of defeat and move on to what I could manage so I really couldn't finish my 2021 planner without filming a couple of Christmas spreads. I will go back and film the spreads I missed and perhaps do a compilation which was something that you didn't seem to mind uh, for a little break that I had a while back. So I'm just going through the kit now and this is from Print Petticoat Bandit. It is a printable. You can also foil this. On this occasion I've printed it plain but added a bit, added a bit of foil to it. It's a beautiful kit. There's lots in it, lots and lots of choices. It's just so pretty. And uh, I've added some fancy bow sampler boxes there from The Giving Girl. And then on top of that, I've also added a set of the deco sheets from Paper Crown Planner, also a printable. They're her new thing, the deco sheets, and they're absolutely to die for. Um, I'm, you're going to be seeing those come up a lot in the spreads going forward because they're just a fantastic option to be able to add. So I'm going to speed you through the laying down of this base. I did go a little bit crazy this time with the florals on the day-to-days. But um, I had so many beautiful things that I really just wanted to bring them in and, um, and it seemed to me that that was one of the best ways to do it. I did play around initially about putting them underneath and then decided that I would prefer for them to go above. So a little bit of fluffy but eventually we got there and um, so I'll speed you through with a little bit of music and catch up with you really soon when I start the daily planning.
Now with the base and the side bar completed, it's time to get into the daily planning. So I've used some of the scallop, you probably call them headers, from the kit. And I've just gone across the sheet um, on each day, Monday through to Friday. And I'm going to use these for the base on which I'm going to put the work sticker. These little headers bring in those beautiful um, pinky florals with the blue base and the mixture of the pink and the blue with the uh, the red, the Christmas red is just a beautiful combination. This occasion I've paired it with silver foil, you probably, I don't think it would have mattered which foil you used with this, it would look lovely but I do tend to lean towards silver as soon as I've got something blue, I'm not sure why that is, it's just a habit of mine but I really do think that whatever um, foil you've got available would be nice. I, Christmas stickers to me just uh, need that little bit of extra zhuzh. It's the one time of the year in particular that you can really go crazy, these sorts of celebrations. So um, that's what I like to do when I've got the opportunity to do so. Uh, I'm using some Mum and Me Handmade Designs work stickers and they're going to go across from Monday to Friday just on top of those headers it's not super visible they're not um, they're not taking over too much I try not to make a feature of the work stickers but the reality is that um, that was the memory for the weekend and it's not a bad thing to mark it sometimes it's handy to try and remember when I have to go back for something so on Monday underneath that work sticker I'm going to use a half scalloped box from the kit I was thinking about using the divider, but then I decided it's just too early to use that yet. So I'm using a script from Paper Trail Plans, uh, Coffee Monday. I think it might be the first time I've actually I got this haul in the period that I hadn't planned earlier on. And um, so this might be the first time that I'm using the Paper Trail Plans. They've come from they're either the States or Canada, but they're just, they're magnificent. The ladies that do those particular sheets are doing a very good job. The font's very attractive, but the falling on it was spot on. And uh, they do, yeah, they really look lovely. So I've used the font from, as I said, Paper Trail Plans. And I used a coffee cup that was on a sampler that I had from last Christmas from Crafts by Towie. And underneath that little coffee mug, as you'll see, as I'm doing here now, I've used a small amount of the floral from the sampler sheet, or rather the um, paper crown planner sheet that I had. And I initially started off by putting a little blue cup on there, but it kind of disappeared into the scallop. So I went back and used my little sampler that only had just a couple of things left on it, and that worked just fine. Going back to this divider sheet, which is from Sharina Jane. Now, Sharina Jane is a sticker lady from Queensland and uh, she does some really lovely stickers. You'll see quite a few of them used through this kit and uh, it's nice to be able to use an Australian product when it fits what you need and, uh, and also it's available. I've also used quite a few stickers from Olive Planner Co and I'm really sorry but um, the simple fact is that she is now closed and that is a terrible shame also because I was really starting to enjoy her product and unfortunately it has gone from the market. Such is life. There is um, a lot more out there for sticker people to enjoy and uh, so that's just what we have to do, broaden the horizons and do the best we can with what we've got. So moving down underneath that coffee mug, I've taken a another little sampler sheet so with this paper trail plans and a few other stickers you'll see coming up in the next few weeks um, they were my deliveries from Black Friday and with the Black Friday sales some of the shops were very generous with the samplers that you got so you've got samplers from lots of different places this one here that I've just used is from Alyssa's craft shop I've noticed her in many of the plan with me's that I watch from the international um, planners and uh, she obviously does some beautiful products and I was lucky enough to get a little sample so much so that uh, I've, I've liked what was on this sheet and I will definitely be looking to go back and, and purchase some stickers from that shop because they're very pretty and dainty and beautifully foiled and really lovely. 
So using that box, I've then taken a little bit of the floral that came again from that paper crown planner that you'll see me pull from quite a bit through this kit and um, and I've added it under there and just noted on here uh, that I got some happy mail. That little happy mail icon is from Tender Designs, another shop that is closing. Um, seems to be a bit of a thing here in Australia. I'm not quite sure why that's happening, but uh, but it is. And I noticed that I've got a bit of a yellow stain on my thumb, which looks very unattractive there. Um, I got I did something with some betadine today, and it obviously stained that particular um, painted nail. So I'm going to have to fix that before I go on. That's a bit annoying, but uh, and it, as I said, it doesn't look very nice. But I didn't actually realise it until. It came up so close and now I can't unsee it, which is a bit of a pill. Another one of these samplers was this Miss and Meow sticker kit here. And it was perfect. It certainly didn't come with this particular kit. It was just a, a little sampler in my package from my Black Friday sales. And it worked perfectly with the blue in this kit. You'd have thought that it was made for it. And again, going back to that sheet from Paper Crown Planner and using another floral from that she's just got such a wonderful selection on those deco sheets large small tiny huge you can cut them up you can use them straight you know it really doesn't matter um, I've used them a lot through here and um, they were just such a bonus to to add to the spread and I think they they just bring you know the use of florals I know is a huge trend at the moment and I can see why because it, it takes your spread to a whole nother level and I can see why so many of the sticker um, people and manufacturers and designers are adding these add-on sheets with floral stickers because they, as I said, they take it to another level and I'm thoroughly enjoying using them. And the quality of those ones from Paper Crown Planner, even though I've printed them myself, are fantastic. And you can see too there that there was some lovely ones included in this print Petticoat Bandit as well but uh, not quite as many as I ended up using in here, so thoroughly enjoyed having that choice. The happy mail that I marked on that occasion was a delivery from Paper Trail Planner. And the next thing that I received, um, or rather I noted on there, was um, my emails were starting to slow down at work. I've sort of not gone in order on the Monday, but um, the happy mail came in the afternoon and in the morning at work. I noticed that um, already people are starting to wind down. It's been a pretty rough couple of years and uh, I think people were really, probably more than any other year, looking forward to the break that they were going to get over Christmas. And uh, I noticed the roads were slowing up. Uh, the emails from various places that I deal with on pretty well a day-to-day -day basis were also starting to slow up. And you could just feel in the air that there was a little bit of a wind down heading towards Christmas. Not everywhere, of course. Some places just, they're not affected by it. But I certainly could see that undercurrent in the workload that uh, I experience from time to time. And then underneath there, I thought I would take that opportunity with the, the slightly slowing workload to tidy my work desk. I wanted to come back in the new year or really after Christmas, because I did work during that um, that Christmas to New Year period, and I didn't want to have to come back to a mess. I don't like a messy desk, so that was something that uh, I wanted to make sure I did. So I marked down the bottom of Monday to tidy my work desk. I used a lovely um, snowflake from, uh, that was from Olive Planner Company, and I know that the theme of this kit is definitely a wintry one. And of course, in Australia, we don't get the wintry ones. But one of the things on my bucket list is to have a white Christmas. I've never done that and I love the idea of it. I am absolutely a Hallmark movie girl with um, lots of snow for Christmas. There's no surprises there. Anybody that knows me knows that, um, that that's something that appeals to me. So this kit and even the one I think that I've done after this um, have definitely got more of that cosy Christmas feel to them rather than the Aussie Christmas. I tend to do my Aussie Christmas ones. Um, if I do four in the December, I try and do a couple of Aussie ones and a couple of international ones. But on this occasion, both of them were, were steeped in snow and cosy fires and so on. 
The other thing that I realised, and maybe because I was out of um, the habit of planning, but I normally, in part of my laying down, I go through and put my full boxes down, and on this occasion, I had forgotten to put my full boxes down. Uh, so, of course, Monday didn't get one. <laughs> I just filled it with the plans. So it was probably a good thing that it didn't get one because I did have things that I needed to put down in there. And then I've gone back through the rest of the week and laid them down. And I've used a little sampler from Olive Planner Company just to bring in um, those headers with the silver foil and the soft pink to go across the top of my boxes. I thought I'd go across and lay them on the shed as I normally would have done in my initial spread before I got any further through laying down stickers and forgetting full boxes, especially when the full boxes in this kit are just so pretty. So once I finished adding the headers across the top of the full box boxes, I went back to um, Monday and finished off the end of that day marking that I watched a Hallmark movie that night. Um, I used a little scatter again from Olive, uh, no I beg your pardon, from My Spoiled Planner. I ended up using a TV from the kit and I put those on a quarter box. One of the little boxes that has the washi in each of the corners is what I used there and that finished off Monday. Uh, I also actually, before I went back to do that, I used the Hello Weekend sticker that was in the kit. I took two uh, small pieces of floral from that paper crown planner sheet and I marked uh, Hello Weekend and on this occasion across the bottom. I had quite a bit to put into my day so I didn't really have enough room to put a washi banner up there. I tend to do those when I know I'm a little bit spoilt for space perhaps when I've had a quieter weekend but that hasn't been the case for these next couple of spreads so I haven't been able to do that well um, and this is when I've now come back and added the Hallmark movie sticker to the bottom of Monday and as I mentioned I've used um, I've used some stickers from the kit that little gold floral or silver floral arrangement beside my work desk was another piece from a sampler. So the samplers that I was sent for Black Friday, I got just heaps of value out of. So here's the My, My Spoiled Planner little scatter that I used to go behind the television and um, mark the Hallmark movie to finish off Monday and the first day of the week. And um, as I mentioned, Monday didn't get a full box because I had forgotten to lay them down. But now they're all in place, so I can move on without having to worry about that. Something that I'm hoping to do in 2022 with regard to my planner, or my memory planner particularly, is to work on my handwriting. just want to sort of mix it up a little bit and not be too boring and do something like has happened with that Coffee Monday sticker on Monday, do a little bit of script mixed with some um, print and yeah just mix up the handwriting a little bit things can get a little bit boring sometimes so I know I don't want that to happen popping across on to Tuesday I have used an overlay from Stella Bow sticker co and this was sort of a celebration theme so it could have been New Year could have been birthday um, whatever you like and on this occasion I've used it for a birthday one mainly because uh, it's a double birthday and this was my birthday as well as my eldest granddaughter's birthday so I've used that um, box as a bit of an underlay with the streamers coming down and popped over that uh, giving girl bowstrung box in the pink and noted on this um, using a happy birthday script of my own uh, that Taylor and I shared a birthday and I've also used some floral from the kit and um, underneath that I've also added another one of the snowflakes from that sheet that I'd been using earlier. It just took me a little bit of a while to get that sticker off for some reason. Um, these were both kits, the, the paper crown planner and the print petticoat bandit. Um, and my cutter cuts particularly well 
In fact, I think it had cut so well that because uh, I'd put a new blade in it, and they were for some reason just uh, just a little tricky to get up. But both of those designers I just mentioned do a lovely job of kiss cutting their product. There's not a lot of white space around it. They're very easy to add to anything because uh, they just blend so nicely and there was no exception with this, that was the case also. So now once that little bit of floral's down, I've just marked on there uh, that it was Taylor and my birthday as I mentioned earlier and used a happy birthday script. So you can see there the combination of a block script and a cursive script and I just think they look really nice together and that's something I'd like to work a little bit harder at incorporating in my own um, handwriting and just a little project for me for 2022 it's just about being mindful of it really it's not like it's hard to do it's just that you get into the habit or even the flow once you start memory planning and um, and I do forget to do that and I, yeah that's just a, a little item for the coming year once I'd completed that box and um, added the snowflake I moved down further and I've used a half box from the kit and just popped on here the half box with again with some more florals just on the side of it and the sticker with the cupcakes on it is a set from uh, Tender Designs which I mentioned earlier um, Emma who's also a local uh, Melbourne uh, designer is closing her business also and I added a little bow to that from Olive Planner Co. So unfortunately, they're all not to be uh, found now. But as I've mentioned earlier, there are alternatives. And I just noted on here that I had an amazing morning tea at work. My, um, I'm just so lucky the girls I work with, the whole team, not just the girls, but our doctors, they're all just very generous and... Um, they certainly make a fuss about birthdays and they make them special if you want to you can have the day off for your birthday but many of us choose to come in on our birthday because we're treated to an amazing array of beautiful morning teas all the girls are fantastic bakers so um, there's always lots of yummy treats on the table and they just go to such trouble to make it special they're a genuinely um, generous group of people and so that morning tea was particularly lovely and thoroughly enjoyed. Once I finished off Tuesday by adding the snowflake to that white space it was time to move across to the last day in this half of the week, the Wednesday. So I've gone back up to the top of Wednesday and done um, something well, I suppose it's not really the same. It's uh, I've added a coffee run. So the coffee run script came from the kit and that's something else that I'm going to try to be very mindful of in 2022 and that is using as much of the kit as I can. Too often I go, um, I overlook it and go to other things. Again, partly from habit, I think. And I'd really like to use more of the kits because they're there they're all a good product and there's no reason why they shouldn't be used. And on this occasion, I've used a coffee run script from the kit and I've used a nice floral underneath it. And I didn't actually put a coffee cup or anything to um, as an icon. It didn't really need it. The message was across and it's always nice to grab a coffee first thing in the morning. It's actually not just a nice thing, but in my case, it's a necessary thing. Anybody that's been subscribing with me for a while will know that uh, that coffee is an important part of my day. Certainly, I actually don't have lots of coffee. It might seem like it, but I do like to start the day with a coffee. It just helps me, you know, clear the morning fog and focus on what needs to be done on the day. So moving underneath that coffee run, I've used a little desk seam there uh, with a floral underneath it on a quarter box from the kit and just noted on there that as I do most of my days, uh, I've started off with checking emails. My email list tends to dictate what my, um, my duties will be for the day and whether or not they are generated from there or then they go and 
create other to-dos, then uh, that tends to be where it all starts. I like to leave at the end of my day with my emails all actioned, if not actually completed, at least underway or I know where I'm heading with them. The little desk came from Olive Planner Co, but I know I do have similar ones from the Pretty Pink Co. And, um, and again, the floral was from that sampler sheet. So heading down underneath those, uh, the full box is another one of those lovely Sharina Jane samplers, or rather not samplers, they're dividers, but there was about half a dozen, no, there was three designs, three or four designs, and they were um, sort of staggered across the page. So you've got a couple of each. They're really lovely, all of the designs in that uh, with poinsettias and holly and bells and they were really, they were so perfect. They were a beautiful Christmas divider. I love them and hopefully she'll keep them in her shop because I'll need to stock up for more for next year. They were so cute. Underneath the divider, I have used another scallop box from the kit and a piece of floral from the extra piece that I had from Paper Crown Planner. I've used some knife, fork and spoon from Rose and Tea Shop. Again, um, not an Australian designer, but um, one from in international, American or Canadian that are also uh, not open. So it would be interesting to know why the shops are closing. Uh, there seems to be a pattern at the moment. I don't know if it's a sign of the times and whether COVID has had anything to do with it, but there certainly seems to be more closing than opening. And I just noted on there that uh, I'd gone out for dinner to one of our favourite pubs for a sort of a, a counter meal, but they're really very, very nice meals. And uh, that had been a, uh, a birthday dinner and that I was very spoiled. My family gave me some really lovely gifts. One of them was a, um, a big Charlotte Tilbury display box full of her various products. I'm a bit of a Charlotte Tilbury fan. I like her makeup. I like her, uh, her little uh, kits with powders and eyeshadows. I like her skincare. There's a lot of really nice things about her range that I enjoy. And, um, and my family were very happy to get that for me for a gift. I was also pretty fortunate to get some terrific vouchers and, uh, and they will never go astray. And I can have a little bit of a shop probably after Christmas when I sort of collectively put things together. And um, I am trying to collect a few bits and pieces to put into a new craft room that I'll have in the next 12 months or so. So they will definitely go towards that. Now that the first half of the week is complete, it's time to move across to Thursday. And I'm starting Thursday off by using a half box in the blue pattern with the little sort of stars or snowflakes behind them which is used quite a bit through this kit it's a lovely blue it's a a muted blue it's not a bright blue a smoky blue you might almost say but it fits the mood of this kit beautifully and i've just used a little gingerbread house from the deco and popped down there that um, i needed to do reports and billings so there's various reports that are generated on the activities in the clinic. Some of those financial, other than others are uh, activity driven. And I tend to do them uh, the beginning of the month, mid-month and the end of the month. They are sort of the more uh, date report driven items. And that was what I was doing on the 16th. They were the reports run after the 15th and the middle of the month. Moving down underneath my little gingerbread house, I also decided to add another one of those snowflakes. They were really lovely. And that's something that I did use a bit of in this next couple of weeks and will also need to replenish next year for Christmas. Um, I'm sometimes a little bit slow in getting hold of the Christmas deco, but uh, I'm really glad I got the batch that I did from Sharina Jane and will certainly look to replenish those when I can. Underneath, I've decided to turn around one of the um, half boxes on its side 
and pop that in there with a longer piece or a larger piece of deco. It's nice to be able to use those occasionally and not have to cut them up because they're so pretty. And I finished it off afterwards with a little boot from the Crafts by Towie sampler, which were actually, that was from last year. I had very little left, but at least I got to use it, which is good. And that's something I mentioned earlier that I'm quite keen to do is to use up the products that come with the samplers, the kits and the icons that I buy and be sensible about that. And I just noted on there that I needed to pay my doctor billings for the second half of the month, which were the results of the reports generated in the first sticker. And then um, by the time that day had, that pretty well took up my whole day at work. And so I popped down underneath there and might using a notched box um, again. So that's the sampler sheet that didn't want to focus. There we go. The sampler sheet from Crafts by Towie, which as you can see, there's very little left on it, but it, uh, it served me well for two Christmases, so I really can't complain about that. And uh, then I took the little notched box again from the sampler from Melissa's Craft Shop, popped that down and marked on there that I spent this evening watching a Hallmark movie, which is pretty much the case for the whole week leading up to Christmas. They, it's just such a relaxing way to get into the Christmas spirit and not uh, get too tired and I've really enjoyed those Christmas movies. I chanced across finding them. I didn't even realise that we had them um, but they were part of another subscription and uh, I was very excited when I discovered that I could access those. Um, I think my husband's sick of hearing them but, uh, but that's okay. I've been thoroughly enjoying them. He has his own telly, so he can always go and uh, watch whatever takes his fancy. But there's been the other occasion where um, he's been a bit sucked into my movies and, and come in and watch them with me, even though he might not want to admit it. <laughs> okay, so that finishes off Thursday, and it's time to move across now on to Friday. So I've started the day off on Friday with, as I've mentioned earlier in the week, the same sort of theme continued Things were starting to quieten down and with that quietness it gives me a little bit more opportunity to do some larger scale things, things that um, you're not frequently interrupted with which is always nice and things you just need to concentrate on and um, I've used a little pile of books from the kit uh, again which is good and uh, I wrote down there that I set up my rosters for 2022 it's important to have the rosters done and up to date so that people have clarity about when and where they're working. It was also important because at this time of the year we do have people coming and going and taking time off, uh, which means they have to be replaced. So it's good for, I'm uh, very fortunate, uh, I never have a shortage of people offering to help with regard to taking shifts and looking after their colleagues when they go on leave. And uh, 2022 is starting off the same way which is really good then coming down underneath that I've used another divider from Sharina Jane this one's got the little Christmas tree in it as I mentioned if you have a look at all those dividers they're just so gorgeous uh, it wouldn't have mattered which one you chose they were all really beautiful and that little cluster of stars just to add a little bit of sparkle so that when this spread was finished there'd be some nice foil going through it Popping down underneath the full box, underneath that lovely sleigh filled with presents, I've taken another Sharina Jane um, sticker, but this, in this case, it was a sort of a full box, and it had it was uh, top and bottom framed by some little snowflake clusters. So I did a little bit of sticker surgery, and I cut um, one of those. I cut one of the borders off them and just used it as a trim rather than using it as a the box that it was designed to be. I did actually use the full box you'll see further over onto Sunday and you can see how they look like in full but on this occasion I wanted to use another one of those uh, scalloped half circles. As I've mentioned in previous spreads I try to balance the two sides so that you know I haven't got sort of a whole lot of one element on one side and not much on the other. So in this case I've just used the pink one there 
as I mentioned, added the sparkly bit to the top from, there's the sticker. So as you can see, it's one full sticker, but on this occasion, I did cut off one of the sections to use it in a slightly different way. Just marked on here that I washed, I'd had some washing already done and it had dried and I needed to fold that up. I've used the washing basket that was in the deco from the kit, which is good managed to to use that up a little tiny bit of floral and a snowflake just to finish off that little set a fairly fancy way to be uh, marking that you did washing and folding but nevertheless it's a Christmas spread so you know go nuts and normally I am breaking my neck to get the Christmas tree out and the decorations on it and up but this year my partner in crime had been working so much that she wasn't able to um, to motivate me and because it had been such a busy lead up to Christmas at work I was struggling with my Christmas mojo when it came to decorations and trees plus also our front sort of what you probably call our formal lounge room is full of my um, son and his partner's building materials for their, their new house and, uh, and so where we would normally put the tree uh, wasn't available and we had to rethink it, but that was fine. It took a little while to get them out, but um, once they came out, uh, David got them out of the garage and we started to sort of set them in place. Uh, I could feel that Christmas mojo starting to happen and uh, it didn't actually take us too long to get them up, which was good. But I did note down the bottom of Friday that uh, using a little gnome from the kit, they're actually quite cute. And uh, a couple of little flags also from the kit, just noticed or rather noted down the bottom of there that uh, David had got the Christmas tree out. And uh, it was a good way of pushing me to get things done. Uh, the boys do the bring out the Christmas tree and put the lights on for us. And the girls tend to add all the decorations. Sounds a little sexist and I certainly don't mean it to be, but I am a bit of a pill when it comes to Christmas decorations. And um, if they're not where they need to be or they're not balanced or whatever, um, the boys say that I give them quite a bit of grief. So they would prefer that I do it and that they not have to put up with my... Um, my OCD or whatever it is that makes somebody that way <laughs> and uh, so they bow out they're very good at doing some of the the lift and heavy work for us so that uh, we can come on in and and get picky with the decorations so heading across onto Saturday morning and using a third box from the kit this one's got uh, is framed in the artwork in the pinks and uh, blues which is lovely I've used another sticker from that sampler from Crafts by Towie and I've noticed up the top there that uh, that I did sleep in this morning. It had been a busy week. It was a lovely week but it was a busy week and I was pooped so I had a good sleep in and, um, and that really set me up well for the rest of the day. So underneath that one and I did use a little bit of floral to pop underneath that Santa hat as well. And then I've come down underneath that with a flat lay and that flat lay has got some washi and a planner and this was also part of the kit. I'm, I'm not a massive fan of flat lays. I don't use them that often but it was pretty indicative of what my morning was like and I've just popped a an olive planner company bow on there but um, that morning I did tidy up because I did go through my lovely deliveries of happy mail and there were stickers everywhere and well that was a fun mess to make and there's always the cleaning up of course that comes after it and you get a lot of stickers out when you do the plan with me's and I tidy them up as I go because otherwise it just gets overwhelming and you can't find the stickers that you need for the next spread and uh, I think it's just more manageable that way. So I just noticed on there that I tidied my happy mail and uh, the MSP stands for My Spoil Planner. So it all also uh, received some of my Black Friday mail. Some of it took a little while to get through, but that's okay. We know there are problems with deliveries at the moment. Grateful really just to be able to get them given 
all that's going on in the world. I don't think I can complain too much really. Underneath the tidying up of my happy mail, I just um, noted on there that I had done, I use a program called Inkscape. It's a very simple, I, I think it's a fairly simple sort of a, a little graphic design program. Um, I've, I've measured all of the furniture going into my new room to make sure things fit where I want them to go. Um, and unfortunately, a couple of things that I had my eye on have been discontinued. So I've had to rethink the odd space here and there for where I'm going to put things. So I did that update to my sewing room plan uh, that morning. Uh, so still in the morning and I've managed to get a fair bit done considering that I did have a really good sleep in. And then I've added another one of those lovely snowflakes that are on the, um, they're on a mat transfer paper so that the mat is, doesn't glare quite so much, which was, is really nice. And I'm becoming more and more fond of that background as things go along. And there's me just popping up uh, to add the bow to the planner that I used on that Saturday morning. And then underneath there with that little bit of white space, I um, I did add another one of those Sharina Jane dividers and this on this occasion it's the one with the holly and those little differences although they were similar um, I just I was really impressed with how beautifully they were done plus also when I did the deco up the top there with the Mondays to Fridays those ones up the top there are also Sharina Jane more really clever Christmas deco that again I thoroughly enjoyed and although I didn't actually add it into my planner I did start doing some decorating on um, the evening of Saturday um, the lights went up and we would got all the balls out I think I'd started to put a few up before I became a bit weary and uh, and left it so then moving across on to Saturday morning um, we found out that the windows for the house that my son and his partner are building had uh, were not going to make the delivery that was anticipated so they were pretty disappointed with that that's been the story all the way along unfortunately uh, with this build in the current climate there's been quite a little bit of stalling and then underneath that I wrote down that I did a bit of designing seeing these beautiful new stickers inspired me so I wanted to design a few myself while the ideas were in my head and then I popped down onto Sunday and noted that I finished decorating the tree again using one of the larger boxes and a larger piece of floral to finish that off just taking you through what was left over again super generous kits and I've still got tons left. I've really got another here, enough here to do another spread, which I may well do. So thank you for joining me. I hope you can come back for the next memory plan. I have got another Christmas one to do before I move into 2022.